potato, you see? Do we are going to open the air fryer. It's a, a red black. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your lady, Queen J. Welcome back to my channel, guys, and thank you so much for clicking. Guys, if you're new here, please hit the button and subscribe. If you're my fan, let's keep watching and keep growing. Guys, today's video is about making french fries, which means I am going to use this potato, guys, to make home french fries. The reason why you call them wedges or french fries, the reason why I'm saying that I'm going to make french fries from home, it's because summer is here, the kids are home, and all the time I hear is like, mommy, we need to go get fast food, and we need to go get french fries, and I'm tired, and I'm like, no, we need to find a way to eat home french fries, guys, so if you have kids, and they keep bugging you to go buy french fries, guys, Watch this video and see how I make my kids happy now. When they eat this, they're happy. It's the same thing. Okay, guys, let me show you what I'm going to use to make those french fries. Everybody has had all the best air fryer. Yes, I am going to use this air fryer, guys, to make french fries. Wow. Okay, before I do this, I am going to show you this, this, this air fryer. I have been having this air fryer pretty much two years here yeah, now so I have been using this air fryer to just fry my stuff chicken fish french fries you name it you use this air fryer to make <laughs> so this air fryer comes with uh, for those ones who want to know you can find this air fryer uh, this one is called the power air fryer XL minus XL so, and this is the manual that it comes with, and in here in the manual, you can find how you take out the fryer, what kind of uh, food you want to fry, and of course you can see here a picture of a chicken, you know, but for those ones who love wings like me, you can fry, <laughs> you can fry your wings here, and uh, this one tells you how to take care of the your air fryer, how to turn it off, what kind of what you set, you know, the settings and everything. It's in here. And uh, this ranges from, um, let me see. Of course I'm reading. If you see me looking down, I'm trying to kind of read something from here so I can show you. The good thing I love this air fryer, it's about heat. It has all the cooking chat. Like you can tell you, like if you're cooking fish, you can set it like this, set it in this amount, set it, set it this. If you're cooking french fries, set it like this. Like for now, today I am going to cook french fries. So you can tell over here, it's french fries. And it tells me like you have to set it to 400 Fahrenheit. Wow, and you cook it for 18 minutes, but because I love mine crispy and you can control it. If you don't want to cook it, um, fry it for 18 minutes, you can go overboard. For me, I just sometimes go over the 25 because I love mine crispy and yummy. So today I am going to show you guys how I fry it. Okay, let me direct my camera over there so we all can start. Of course, before you start, I'm telling you, what you need, of course, you need potatoes you can make as many as you want it depends on the size of the family or how many kids you have or how many people in your house so for today i'm just gonna just put this just to show you how i do it so i need potato because i need my knife because i need to cut those potatoes into wedges guys i need my cutting board i need my cutting board and after that need my serving plate I'm so sorry guys my camera I could have shown you what I have here because the setting on my camera is like I can't bend my camera guys I need to do better but that's what I have guys of course I have my salt whenever the fries are done because we are going to season it with the salt oh for those ones who love ketchup guys you're gonna eat with the ketchup if you're the lover of menace I don't know I call it menace you can call it mayonnaise menace it depends where you are and how you want to call it but this is menace okay guys i have my board here of course i have my potato and my potato i do not take the skin off i am going to fry my potato with the skin some people like to take it, uh, the skin off but mine my kids and me and everybody else we love to eat with the skin so i'm going to do mine 
with the skin. So we are going to cut into shape like potato, you see? Careful with the knife guys, very tricky. So, so it's very tricky. Gotta be very very. I'm trying to make it light. So, and what you're gonna do, of course, make it like french fries, see? You see all that shape like french fries? That's what we're looking for. And when it's with the skin, like there. So you go ahead and cook, cut it. Put it aside. Cut it. Put it aside and you can you know the size you want depends on what size you want some people like big old wedges like this and some people my my family I think we like it a little bit slimmer I can say lighter <laughs> so yeah you can go ahead and do that okay guys I think I'm done with cutting my wedges of course some people like to deep fry the, the potato and that's okay if you like to deep fry them but today i'm just gonna go sometimes i deep fry too but today i'm just going to use the air fryer so my wedges are done and as you can tell the wedges are a little bit wet so what you can do if you have maybe a paper towel you just come with the paper towel and dab 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 just to remove a little bit extra of wetness from the potato or the wedges so you dab like that and make it a little bit dry some people like to put it outside to uh, outside uh, outside the sun basically for them to be to dry you can leave there them there for 30 minutes or one hour if you want to go that extra mile but I don't mind mine just getting a paper towel and just tapping him and then getting all that extra wet that's how I like mine yeah so what we're gonna do we're just gonna put it in the shape baby shape of course you can get another i'm here guys you can get another paper towel put it on your baking sheet and put your wedges there a little bit just to get the extra wetness you know and you just can shake them like that to remove extra wetness and now my wedges are done and the thing is like you can season your wedges right now or you can wait until they're done and then you can go ahead and sprinkle the salt for me I'm just gonna put them first when they're done and then we're just gonna come with our seasoning and make our french fries so let's go to the air fryer Okay guys, my air fryer is here. So what we're gonna do, we are going to open the air fryer. There's a, a red button here, you press it down, and then you open, and that's the basket. Of course, I've been using my basket for almost two years. <laughs> so, and I am going to put my fries in here. And another thing guys, if you wanna spray a little bit of oil, let me show you what I spray. Hold on a minute. So, if I use this, canola spray it's a cooking spray if you just or you can use oil and then put a little bit of oil on there but this is a good one you can just spray your fries just to give them a little bit you know crispy when they're going to cook so you just spray it you know you can just go ahead and just mix them up with the oil and then after you mix them with the oil a little bit spray and then after you're done put them in the basket this is the air fryer basket this one put them in there I hope you guys can see so put them in the basket in there. and now my my potato are in here now what I'm gonna do I'm going to put them inside the air fryer and make sure light your air fryer because sometimes it's tricky you have to make sure it clicks you see it's all locked in there so I am 
going to hook it on the wall. I have to look for french fries. Let me see if I can find. You see now it's popping, french fries sign. I don't know you guys, you can see. And I want my french fries to go all the way to 400. So when I kick, uh, click uh, french fries, it all went to 400 and then 18 minutes see 18 minutes but i want mine to cook for about 25 to 30 minutes okay guys you can open your french fries and see the progress let's see oh my goodness guys it's progressing so well look so you can come with something and try to flip them around because i have like two minutes remaining Ah, oh, they're almost done, but I say, as I said, I like mine a little bit crispy. So I'm gonna put them back a little bit so that they can finish. Okay guys, when you hear that sound, it means it's almost finishing. You can see how it's spinning. It's almost finishing, so it's a kind of winding up now. You hear that? That tells you like, I'm done. Okay, peeps, four times. And then when it's done, you can go ahead and open. And oh my, 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 look at those french fries. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and serve them. And then we see. Okay, guys, the french fries are done. Let me serve. Look, all you do now is to serve yourself how much you want to eat look at that guys and then the next thing you're going to do those ones who love ketchup guys but the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to season with the salt because we need our salt here because you need your fork let's season it and if you love ketchup come on with your ketchup guys i love my ketchup look at go just a little bit on the side a little bit there you go and of course a little bit of yellow mustard if you like it just I like put mine on the side because I don't like sprinkle all over and the guys now my french fries are ready look at that guys come on but I'm telling you guys this they're just crispy, they're just sweet. You can smell all this ketchup and the mayonnaise and the master, guys. What does the kids need? There's no need of going drive through and just buying all those fries. Just buy the potato and come home and make the wedges, you guys. And you can just eat. I mean, some people used, used to eat this with the different, you can eat with tomato, fresh tomato, onions, or put some greens in here and enjoy your potatoes, guys. Oh my goodness, guys, this is so yummy. Oh, well, guys, okay, guys, thank you so much for coming with me to my kitchen to fry french fries. Now you know how Queen J makes her own <laughs> french fries, and I hope it's good. It's gonna help somebody else. If you have potatoes, you happen to buy potatoes, they're just in the house. You can go ahead and turn those potatoes into yummy french fries. Okay guys, any comment you have, did you like my frying, how do you make yours, what do you want me fry next, leave a comment below guys and leave a like and share the videos with your family members and please subscribe if you are not subscribed to my channel yet and thank you guys for watching all this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!